Hey guys, today I'm going to be putting together a game. It's just a DIY kit I bought from Banggood. It's supposed to have Tetris, Snake, Racing, Aircraft, and that's technically it. This is a fairly simple board. We have, uh, I guess that would be the counter. We have dot matrix screens right here, just two of them. Uh, here's where IC would go. I think that's the power button right here. We have our full-sized USB 5 volt in. We have a speaker, 1K resistor, transistor. We have a electrolytic capacitor there, and this one is a ceramic capacitor there. We have our left, right, up, down buttons, and I think that might be the reset button. And that's technically it. That's all that's on this board. I don't see anything else besides that. Well, let's go ahead and put this thing together. Um, first thing I like to do is test everything. Just make sure that you test your resistors, your capacitors and all that. But I've already done that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in the 1K resistor. And that would go right here. Do you know there is no direction. Just stick it on in any, any way that you've seen fit. So the transistor will be next. This transistor says it is 8550. And the board itself says 8550. So just definitely check to make sure they did give you the right ones if you are putting this thing together. Now there is a direction. So we have a flat side here and then a curved end. Now you'll see the exact same thing on on this as well. So I have it the wrong direction. It will go in just like this. And those will be the only two things I'll put in there for now. All right. Now, the next thing I would probably put in is the ceramic capacitor and then the electrolytic capacitor. However, I think maybe putting this in here would be a better bet because then I know exactly where I'm going to bend the ceramic and the electrolytic capacitors. So there is a mark that is on here. You can see it at the top right up here. Um, that will correspond to this mark up here. So just make sure that they are going in the right way. So we're going this way, not the other direction. There we are. I'm going to flip this thing around. Okay, so I'm going to solder one corner. And then I will do the same to the opposite side. And that could help if I actually get it in there. There we are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on this at the same time is reflowing the solder. That way it gets closer to the board. Same thing goes with the opposite one. Here we are. It's now close to the board as you can see right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder the rest of these pins. That's done. I guess this analytic capacitor first. You will see a white strip. That white strip goes to the right hand side. You can see where this side here is white and the other side is not. So a longer lead is positive, shorter lead is negative. I'll bend you like that. Might be able to just butt up against it. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so I'm going to solder those two together. So yeah, the black one here actually has a direction. Uh, the ceramic does not, so you don't have to worry about that. You can keep the 104 above if you want. So I guess the buttons will be next. All five of these buttons. 
You can just stick them in any old way as long as they go in there. That was easy. Okay, so I know they'll stay in there. They're not going anywhere. So I might as well put something else in as well. And I think the USB port will be next. Okay, that's going to stay in as well. So yeah, I'm just going to solder these in here first and then move on to the matrix screens here. Uh, let me do this display up here first. Uh, this one right here. And I take it out of its foam, and sure enough, there's some pins bent. Anyway, um, we have three little dots at the bottom right here. Obviously, you know what direction that goes. You can see them right here. Let's slide them on in there. Here we are. Uh, this wants to fall out right away, so I'm just going to put some solder on it. Just on two pins for now. Good enough. And I might as well get the other matrix screens on here as well. Ooh, these ones are uh, worse for bent pins. Okay, so there is a direction with these. Uh, there's some numbers at the bottom right here. This would be bottom. So make sure the, as you can see right here, there's the numbers, and there's the numbers, so just make sure that they go in just like that. And I'm going to have to take it off of here and try to get it on here because these pins are still bent. <laughs> Toothpick broke. I'll get it in <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Got it. Don't pop out, whatever you do. Okay, I'm going to tack that one down too. I do not want it to move. On with the next. The numbers that are imprinted on both dot matrix screens have to face downwards. There we go. That one's now in. Again, tack it down. And it's going to push down on them too, just to make sure they're nice and flat with the board. You hear that ticking? That's because it's clicking to the board. You can go ahead and solder all the pins to the PCB board now. Um, I'm not going to snip these off yet because I do want to test it. The switch will be next. Now there is no direction on this. It just sits in here. Okay, so it went in. I'm just going to tack it as well. I might as well solder that right here. Good enough. So the next thing will be the speaker. There is a direction. As you can see, this is positive right here. This would be negative. And if we actually have a look at this, there is a positive mark right there. You can barely see it, but it's there. It's also showing up on the top of this as well. You can see it right here. That's it for soldering. Um, there's really not more to do to this board other than put the IC in. So the STC chip has a mark at the top right here that goes to the top right here. You can see it on the piece that you put on and on the board itself. So that's the reference. So STC would go on just like that. Hey, it's time to test this and see if it works. And it's plugged in. Ooh. That's... That sounded like a dying cat or something. That sounded horrible. Alright, well... Let's uh, show it to the better camera here. There we go. I can kind of see it. I have no idea what's what here. That's horrible. Oh, 
Oh man. That speaker. That sounded bad. That sounded very, very bad. Eh. So Tetris obviously seems to work. You can kind of somewhat see it. <laughs> you know that little uh, piece of speaker is effing loud. Okay, well, I know it somewhat works. Um, all the lights work on here. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm taking that speaker out. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm just going to block it real quick, turn it back on. See how bad that is? <laughs> okay, well, I'm not done soldering yet. It's time to desolder. I'm getting rid of that freaking thing. That's so annoying. I'll try to pull it out at the same time. Bye bye. Oh, I ripped it right out anyway. Eh, whatever. I'll use you for another project. Does not nest. All right, now it's silent. I'm going to try this again. Turn it on. You hear that? Yeah, you don't hear it because it actually sounds fine. Usually have a lot of problems with these. I screws up your nails while you're trying to peel all the uh, paper off. This one doesn't seem to be too bad compared to other ones I've dealt with. Yeah, that's coming off pretty good. Got me a pair of gloves. Do what doctors do. No fingerprints. Might as well just wipe them all off. Okay, time to put this thing together. So, the bottom, there's three holes here. And they will correspond to the three holes on here. So, this is the right direction. Screws. Then the nuts. And before I go any further with this, I want to get these buttons on here. And then they'll just click into place. And now since I put these buttons in here, as you can see, red button up here, yellow ones down here. They just stay in the place. And this is the bottom. So we have a screw going up. We got the nut, and same thing with the other two. Stick it on there. And, oh, I forgot to, uh, <laughs> I forgot one thing. I forgot to snip these off. I should actually uh, get rid of that flux. Good old isopropanol and q-tips once it gets rid of those fingerprints that cause acid issues back to the gloves okay so what I'm gonna be doing now is I clean the bottom of this thing I'm going to put it on here make sure it's the right way so yeah screw um, your bottom cover, a nut, and then this goes on top of that. And then you use one of these um, female to female connections or connectors or extenders. I can't think of the correct term for that at the moment. Anyway, finger tight, it doesn't matter. Uh, the front and the bottom, I'm gonna have it facing like this and same thing with the bottom the left hand side like this straight down 
and there's one with a hole that's where your USB port is and there's only one direction that this goes on because you can obviously look at the buttons and figure out exactly where that goes right I got a bunch of screws here it's like they planned that there was going to be another set on the left hand side but unfortunately there's not okay there is one other thing I want to do this found some little rubbers for the bottom of it that way it doesn't scratch up anything huh. it's kind of loose have a bit of a gap in that it's not due to the screw is it no it's tight this is the gap that's fine not a big deal so yeah these uh, screws can scratch the surface of your table you don't want that that's it let's plug it on in Turn it on. And there it goes. It's on. This thing works. Seems to do the job. I've just never seen a cord like this before. Yeah, you don't want to plug it into one device and then, well, plug it into one charger and then plug it into another charger. I'm sure bad things will happen. <laughs> Although, uh, that stuff usually has protection but yeah here's like a good example look at this charger right here you can see this you wouldn't like want to do that and then do that and then plug it in <laughs> uh, it's only five volt though but still that one delivers up to four amps but uh, yeah, anyway, this project is now complete. Um, I'm going to be doing a review of this thing, so please um, check that out as soon as I release it. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please do rate, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.